So how much should runners actually be eating? Have you ever found yourself wondering, am I eating enough? Am I eating too much? Am I eating all the right things that all the other runners are eating? I get this question all the time. Today we're gonna to talk about some maybe pain points, like are you hungry all the time? Are you not sleeping very well? Are you actually gaining weight with your training? All of these can be cues that maybe you're not getting it quite right. I thought it'd be fun to start with some kind of runner interviews to see what other runners are eating and how much and if they feel the same things that you are. So what do you think the best foods for runners are? Oatmeal, specifically picky oats. Ooh, and coffee. And coffee. Picky oats and coffee. <laughs> what do you think um, you should eat the night before a race? Something light, not too heavy. Don't go to the pasta feed. Exactly. Start with breakfast with oatmeal, usually sort of a vegetable stir fry for lunch, and either so maybe some pasta or some afternoon or even night snack of sandwiches. So this morning for breakfast I had overnight oats, um, which included oats, berries, uh, PB2 powder, cinnamon, and milk. And then last night I had turkey burgers, but usually a little bit more protein and carb substance the night before I run is usually what I go to. Uh, oatmeal, bananas in the morning, peanut butter. Uh, Got to go like light of lunch and salad. And dinner's kind of whatever the heck I want. Uh, so for last night, dinner, pasta, a little bit of pasta, not too much. I mainly carb loaded for lunch, with lunch, but dinner, a little bit of pasta and chicken. You try to keep it kind of light. Uh, for breakfast, same thing, just a banana and coffee. I usually have about three or four meals a day. I always start off with breakfast, usually uh, have some like toast, uh, peanut butter, and fruit. I'll usually bring my lunch, like maybe some like chicken and rice and veggies. And then dinner, some type of protein like meat, uh, carbs like rice and veggies. I uh, went to Red Robin last night, which is probably not something that I should have done, but I had a burger and french fries and I'm gonna regret it this morning, but I think probably some good healthy amount of proteins and carbohydrates would have been a better choice. Breakfast is usually something kind of quick. Say lunch is my big meal of the day. Lots of carbs, some veggies, dinner, it's about the same. For breakfast, uh, bagel, um, and yeah, just a bagel normally. For lunch, end up getting a salad with fish. Uh, snack, I probably eat like three bananas, uh, and then for dinner, it's uh, uh, pasta with shrimp, and then I guess a uh, mango for dessert. Breakfast is like oatmeal, raisins, chia seeds, banana, and uh, I have like a little yogurt for a like mid-morning snack. Lunch, I try and, you know, make sure I get like one-third vegetables, one-third meat, one-third carbs, I try and keep a balance. Same thing with dinner. Breakfast, it's usually some kind of bagel, peanut butter, with banana, or some kind of fruit in the morning. Uh, lunch is generally always like a Chipotle chicken burrito, or a chicken sandwich of some kind, or pizza. Have some carbs midday. And then dinner, if it's race week, definitely tomato-based pasta, or I love like fish and broccoli, uh, brown rice. That's pretty much it. Wow, as you can see there, what runners are eating is all across the board. That's because they're all training for different things. They all have different goals. So whether you're going for your first marathon, trying to speed up that 5K, the main thing you wanna take into account when you're deciding on how much to eat, it's fuel for the work required. No more, no less. If it were only that easy, right? Let's talk about maybe a few signs and symptoms that you're under eating or not fueling enough. So some general ones would be a constant fatigue, like you never feel like you're getting caught up on sleep. If you're cold all the time, if you have a rapid weight loss or weight gain, uh, obviously if you're constantly hungry, if you're a female and you've lost your period, if you are having trouble with digestion, so digestive issues, GI issues. Also, if you are not performing the way that you used to. So if you're not seeing those gains and you're still training as hard or you lose that ability to train hard. All of those are things, kind of some warning signs. Now, a little more serious and a topic that you'll hear a lot more often now is something called REDS, 
which is relative energy deficiency in sport. And that's kind of the general term that we use now to describe constant or continuous underfueling. And that develops even bigger problems long term. So some of the symptoms there would be potential bone loss, obviously hormonal imbalances, if you're getting sick all of the time. And these things can lead to bigger, more long-term health consequences and eventually cause issues with your training that lead to overtraining and will keep you from reaching your goals and potentially get you sick and out of running long-term. So on the flip side of the undereating is overeating. I get it. It's really natural and almost common for runners to think we've ran all those miles, we should reward ourselves with food, or maybe we've earned this big brunch or pizza or whatever. And I'm not saying that you didn't earn that, but how do you know when to kind of, when to stop? How do you know what the limits are? Couple signs, I guess, if you will, that you're potentially overeating. Obviously, the big one is if you're gaining weight kind of a like basic parameter. So have a good idea of what it is that your weight and body composition goals are. And then if you're falling outside of that, if you are eating and you immediately get tired and want to go to sleep afterwards, probably a sign that you've eaten too much at that meal. If you are lethargic or just kind of lost, have a loss of motivation to do any of your regular training, it's a sign that you could be overeating or eating potentially the wrong things. If you have acid reflux, uh, that's definitely a sign that you're eating too much. If you are just not being able to perform, so if you're not seeing the kind of results from all of your hard training, if you have those achy joints, so maybe if your knees are starting to feel it or your back, that's potential that you're overeating. And then kind of lastly, if you are mindlessly eating or not paying attention to the food that you're eating, it's a sign that you may be consuming too much. So something you want to pay attention to. All right, that was a pretty long list. Let's dive deeper into the two main causes of overeating that I see in runners. The first is really that mindless eating, eating just because it's time to eat, just because you're sitting on the couch watching a great show on Netflix. If you're not paying attention to what you eat, you're going to take in more food than you need. And you're also not going to enjoy it as much. Secondly, if you are constantly rewarding yourself with after every run with either those treat foods or large quantities of foods, that's where you're gonna to start to see some of those problems and that's where runners will tend to overeat and you're not gonna reach those performance or body composition goals that you want. Let's be real here. We're not going to get it exactly right every single day. And that's not really what's important. It's the consistency over time. If you are checking off more than one of those boxes, either on the undereating or overeating symptoms, that's when it's becoming a problem. That's when it's something that you want to take control and try to address. The best way to start learning about what you're eating and deciding whether you're under or overeating is to keep a food journal. So go for 10 to 14 days, record everything that you're eating and drinking, like how much food you're eating and drinking, and then also how you're feeling. How does that affect your performance? And from there, you can get a better idea of what nutrients you might be missing, maybe gaps in your day where you're not eating enough and then potentially eating more later on. It just gives you that fuller picture and it's a great place to start. But if you want to learn more, you want to dive a little deeper, I've done a video for you, the perfect nutrition, perfect diet for runners. You'll see that. Just click on the link and you can watch it next. Ow. How come? How come?